the good things about the budget first the budget came with a big tax spending from the government as highest in lakh crores and it was a massive growth from last year this increase in expenditures largely out of reduction subsidies which government had to bear in the current financial year so what it means is that the growth will continue to move ahead and government spending will continue to support growth and a good capex growth also means that there'll be multiplier for that growth but what does it mean for the bond markets for the bond markets it is a fiscal deficit number of 5.9% and a gross borrowing of 15 lakh 43000 crores now fiscal deficit a high fiscal deficit is good when you have the economy which is slow and you really need the government to pump too much of money but when economy is doing well you need a counter cyclical fiscal where the government would need to consolidate the fiscal so that when the private sector would want to borrow they will get enough resources and the government borrowing program will not crowd out the private sector borrowing as we've seen uh, in the current year there was a big uh, boost because of higher nominal gdp the overall inflation gdp deflator was very high and that supported high tax collection however as we go into the next year the overall gdp numbers are expected to be lower because of a lower gdp deflator and effectively it meant it means that you'll not get the same delta in terms of revenues as you saw this year also from a state deficit point of view the state deficit is also going to be higher so net net from a overall market borrowing perspective both the central government and the state government borrowing would be high now there's something more which has come in the budget which is about the insurance sector they've restricted individual money up to 5 lakh crores for tax benefits that means that some of the money which was flowing into some of the long uh, products like the non par savings sanjay kind of products that market is expecting to come down what effectively it means is that the demand for long bonds which used to be very high from some of these long duration products will go down so net net it's also again a demand dampener so how do you place your portfolio from a budget perspective i think that the short end of the curve looks very attractive given the fact that rbi is towards the end of rate hiking cycle whereas the long end of the curve looks expensive at this point of time given the demand supply dynamics as we've seen into the budget so stay invested in the short term for the next year thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully